The magnetic compass should be in satisfactory condition. The binnacle light should be checked, they should be working. You should also check for any air bubbles inside. If there are any, the air bubbles must be removed. The reading should be clearly visible from the steering stand. The date of the deviation card must be checked. It should be adjusted once in two years as per the VIQ or any time if excessive deviation is cited. The magnetic and gyro compass error should be taken every watch. If it is unobtainable due to weather or traffic density, it should be recorded clearly. They should be taken also from other celestial objects, not just the sun. The deviation of the compass error log should not exceed 3 degrees. With the deviation card, the off course alarm should be set properly and the duty officer should know that. The spare compass bowl should be stored upside down to avoid damage to the needle bearing. While checking, just check for air bubbles as well. We're going to check the gyro compass now to ensure that the gyro compass and its repeaters are in satisfactory condition. The repeaters must be compared at every watch and aligned with the master gyro. That includes the repeaters on the bridge wing, the center line, the egg disc, the radars, the sat C repeaters and also the AIS. The repeaters in the steering gear should be compared at regular intervals with the master gyro. When two gyro compasses are installed, there should be a changeover device installed between the two and the speed and latitude correction should be properly applied. The gyro compass reading should be clearly seen from the steering stand. Gyro or magnetic courses should be compared at each course alterations. The date of last annual servicing of the gyro should be clearly marked on the gyro compass unit.